Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we will see a coding challenge and one of the important coding interview question. How to remove duplicates from string? How to remove duplicates from string? Let's see this program step by step. Okay. So first is, this is the example I am taking. If I take input as Sandeep, output I should get as S-A-N-D-E-P. E should be removed. Why? Because E is duplicate here. If I take Java as input, it should return output as JAV. Okay. So here I have written some steps. First I will go through the steps and then uh, we will write a code step by step in our program. So first create a string in which duplicate has to remove. So for, uh, for this step what I will do is I will create string str is equals to Sandeep. Okay. Write a method remove duplicates which accepts string. So write a new method remove duplicates which accepts string as an argument and it should return and it should return string and it should return string. Next one is third step is in remove duplicates method create a hash set. So in the method what I need to do is I need to create a hash set. So why I need to create a hash set? I'll, I'll uh, tell you the purpose of this hash set in the few next steps. And then create a new string buffer. Create a new string buffer object. So after that here the programming logic starts. First step what I need to do is I need to convert the string into character array. So I need to convert this Sandeep into character array. So which will uh, what I'll get is each character in this Sandeep will get after splitting into the character array. So now what I need to do is I need to look through the array. I need to look through the array and check in the hash set. If it is not present in the hash set, add to hash set and string buffer. So after first I need to take this S character. After splitting this string into character array, I will take this S character. I will check whether this S is present in the hash set or not. If S is present in the hash set, I will ignore. If S is not present in the hash set, what I will do is, I will add this S to the hash set as well as string. I will add this S to the character array, sorry, hash set as well as string buffer. Finally, what I will do is, I will like I will repeat the same steps for each character in this string. I will repeat the same steps for each character in this string. Finally, what I will do is, I will return the string buffer. I will return the string buffer from this method. Hope you guys understand these steps. Let's go through these steps and create step by step. We will write a program. So first I have written a class called remove duplicates. And as usual I am writing a main method. Why? Because to test this program I need a main method. And so first what is the first step? Create a string in which duplicates has to remove. Okay, I am creating a string here, string str equals to Sandeep I am giving here. And in the next step, what is the next step? Write a method remove duplicate which accepts string and it should return string. So now I will write a method public static string remove duplicates string str. So it should return string. So that is the reason I am getting compilation error. So for the time being I am just returning null. So first step. In the remove duplicates method first what I need to do? I need to create an hash set. In remove duplicates method create a hash set. So this set should accept what? Set of characters. Set character set equal to new has set of so import set java dot util set as I told this is the next step what I need to do I need to create a set and then next step I need to create what string buffer so create a string buffer object here, string buffer 
एस एफ इक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर ओके नो वॉट एन टू डू कन्वर्ट दिस स्ट्रिंग इन टू कैरेक्टर एरे कन्वर्ट दिस स्ट्रिंग इन टू कैरेक्टर एरे so instead of converting the string into character array what i need to do is instead of this step create a string buffer take each character from the array and so first loop through the loop through the each character in the each character in the string i loop through the each character in the string so first what i'll do i'll write a for loop here for int i equal to 0 i less than i less than s dot length s is nothing but str dot length i plus plus for int i equal to 0 i less than length str dot length i plus plus so so first i means what i need to take this i in the string so i need to extract each character in this string so first what i will get is i'll get the character here character c equals to str dot caret of i so what this step does is it will extract each character from the string it will extract each character from the string so first is what i equal to 0 so when i say character c equal to str dot char at i at of i that means char at of 0 that means it will return s okay so now what i am doing is if if not set not set dot contains not set dot contains character set dot add c and is b dot sf sf dot append c so here is the main core logic this for loop itself is the main logic so let me explain once again so first when i say for int i equal why i am taking this for loop because i have to extract each character in the each character in the string so to extract each character in the string i need to loop through the string so first starting with i equal to 0 and i equal to length of the string so character c equal to str dot caret i so it will return first caret i means caret 0 it will return s so for the first step str dot caret of 0 it will give s so in the first step after converting this str dot caret 0 i got s so in the new hash set we we don't have any characters it's an empty hash set so check whether this s is present in hash set or not so s is not present in the hash set now add 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 if s is not present in hash set hash set that is the reason i kept not symbol that means not set dot contain c add this this step what it does is add s to the hash set add s to the hash set now what i am doing is so for the first time what happens string buffer sf equal to new string buffer that means it creates an empty string buffer now when i say sf dot append c so it will append character s to the string buffer okay for first character will be s okay in the similar way it checks each and every character in the string and uh, it will add the s to the uh, it will add s to the set and s to the string buffer okay finally i should return what so whatever the characters we have added it's present in sf that means string buffer 
so i am returning sf dot to string sf dot to string that means this is a string buffer object so i can't return string buffer object why because here i am returning string so i am converting sf to to string okay now i am in this main method i am calling this remove duplicates method to check i am calling remove duplicates method by passing this sandhi to this remove duplicates method okay now i am printing i am writing sysout this sysout will print the output of this remove duplicates whatever the output we get from this remove duplicates it will print in this sysout okay let's run the program and see the output and as java application if you see the output s a n d e p that means it removed one s so what is the other text case in our thing java so in java we have a two times that means it should remove one a let's run the program and see the output so it remained only one a and it removed the other a hope you guys understand this video thanks for watching my video if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe to my videos if you have if you have any questions regarding this program please type in the comment section i'll reply as soon as possible thanks